All right, listen. I have not watched any. Okay, spoilers, nothing. I am hype. Hype. Okay, I've been waiting. Spoiler. Wow, dude. Look how they just get you. Ain't that crazy? See how they just get you right there? You know what I'm saying? Look at that YouTube trying to get me messed up. Hey, listen. Don't forget. Like and subscribe. This is going to be crazy. Cannot wait for this. Oh, my God. I'm already, I already saw a black man, and he don't look like he got a basic outfit on. I'm hype. Every every time we get a black character in COD, he got to have a chain on or a super basic outfit, okay? Now, listen, I know, like, okay, listen, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I am the greatest COD player in all of history. I'm just not known, you know what I'm saying? And this is going to become the second release, okay, for this. So, uh, that I've said this, um, but this Call of Duty, I will become the greatest Call of Duty player of all time. Okay, just staying. We're still making Call of Duties. When the game is the greatest game to ever come out to any device in the history of video games, that's just what happens, okay? God! You ain't gonna never get rid of the tomahawk, bro. God, I hope we get one of those, uh... One of those like Reagan administration uh, zombies again. Oh my God! Hello, Look welcome at it. to Look Tower at in it. Los Angeles, and thanks for joining us today. We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past few years. For Black Ops Six, we really wanted to give ourselves the time to craft something truly great. This means we're delivering a new level of polish and innovation across all parts of the game. Okay. I've been working here for over 20 years, and I can tell you that we have something special oh. on our hands with Black Ops 6. I, I know the team are excited heart. to give you a deep dive into our campaign and global innovations across the entire game. Oh, that looked hard. Rolling. God, With Black Ops 6, we're taking players to a new but familiar like era, this, the early 90s. For this game? In true oh. signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force has infiltrated the highest levels of the U.S. government. Oh my God. Branding anyone who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time to fight the very machine that created them. Oh my God. The team has oh, yeah, been meticulously 3D. crafting every aspect of this game to deliver the fun and attitude players expect from the Black Ops franchise. Multiplayer is of course here and brings the Black Ops style and provides a playground for the brand new Talk Omni about it, system. Leslie. New way Omni to push beyond bit. your limits and move like an action hero. You'll see a sneak peek of that later shooting? today. Round based zombies Wild is absolutely back and Wait better than ever. Wait and you can be second. sure it's full of surprises. Ooh, with that, round base? let's step into the oh. mind bending campaign experience we've you been crafting the best with our partners ever. at Raven. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Can we, talk, can we talk about him jumping sideways? Y'all saw that too, right? No turning back now. Every Call of Ooh. Duty player has a favorite campaign mission. When Max. we set out to make Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. We are bringing that action-packed blockbuster feel to every step of the narrative. We're giving you more variety, more dynamic moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, and more options to finish each mission. We can do this loud or quiet. Oh, you know how I like to do it, baby. We go loud where I'm from. The game is packed with unexpected loud, moments of Black from. Ops mystery. It's a high-octane spy thriller where you're never sure who to trust and Look what's real. Lighting. And it's all set against the backdrop of the early 90s. Oh, God. Oh, God. I just saw this. For sure who to trust and what's real. I just saw this, and all I can think about is Warzone. And if they do what they did to Warzone, when Cold War came, oh my God! Oh, they better not! Oh, they! Oh, they! Oh, they! Oh, oh God! Oh God! Please, 
please, I, don't bring back the palm trees. Don't bring back the palm trees, And it's all brother. set against the backdrop of the early 90s. The Soviet Union was crumbling after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. It drops as soon as your the mother admits she's your father. The US is the only remaining superpower. Oh. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere, and there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, and pop culture of the time. When we talk about the Black Ops timeline, Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but is directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2, the aftermath <laughs> okay, of which has I'm left I'm our I'm heroes I'm in dire circumstances. Oh so my God. See. Oh my God. Okay, so Black we're not pretending the like the last history. game didn't Pre happen. Did you see my boy in the wheelchair? So we're not pretending like the last games didn't happen. We're actually following a real storyline here. I'm loving this already. Previous franchise titles with bold new characters. Is that Deji? What? With veteran Frank Woods as our through line in our story. In this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods following his traumatic injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. Ooh. He's been pulled from the field as he adjusts to a new role within the CIA, often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. Oh my God, he's gonna be like my little buddy is Troy in my Marshall, ear. Who's been making a name for himself in the field. Marshall is a reluctant leader driven by a strong moral compass. Strong Marshall and Woods are working with another new face in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. She's a born leader, Jane. fearless and brilliant, and helps manage their relationships within the agency. Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always been hugely valuable to the CIA, whether they want to admit it or not. Facts. And Marshall has the ability to make tough calls in the field, ones that Harrow trusts him to make. But when an operation like goes wrong, Woods and Marshall rapper. are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. Bro. They soon realize they have to trust each other to get to the bottom of what's going on without any of their usual resources. They have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius, and Savati Dima, a mysterious assassin. Roger that, yeah, yeah. With the end of the I Cold War, that. these former enemies that's have my, that's become like the new, new allies. Thorough, for real. And with the sudden return of notorious operative Russell Adler, who'd gone missing for months, a former ally I'm may have become a new place. enemy. Wait. Wait. For the Black Ops single player campaign, we Don't prioritized gotta, mission variety take, and take unique Adler's experiences. In here. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types, each crafted from the ground up. One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. Oh, wow. Well, we aim to take players in with that all over hair. the world and immerse them in vastly different experiences. Within yeah, these hotel. missions, we wanted gameplay to unfold word? in multiple ways, giving players the freedom to navigate through them as they see fit. Where we have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way barter. into different experiences. And we think you'll want to oh. replay levels to see them all. So, so it sounds like they're bringing back like those open missions, like they. They were kind of, I'm not going to lie, on this new Modern Warfare, they were kind of a little BS on them. Like, it seemed like they didn't put too much, like, crazy work into them. But, man, oh, man, if they, if they went crazy on this, oh, I'm here for it. Oh, I'm here for it, 100%. Every cod is the same. All right, so we're just, we're just, like, choosing to be haters here. What was that sidestep? Bad aim. Oh, do you see that? He like picked his gun up and went like, he like rolled. Oh my God, she lost sliding too? Oh, I'm here for this. Bro, I was like, nah, these graphics are crazy. We are excited to <laughs> offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal is to provide look different so challenges for the player. So whether they choose to go in guns blazing or take a stealthier approach, line them up right, you can take them both down with one shot. Oh, oh. Nice and quiet. We've continued to push on what's possible in terms of power enemy combatants behave. Why is every developer be relentless, sucking aiming? Constantly seeking to outmaneuver you make throughout the, the game levels. and you can't aim at it. But caught off escape routes, push on player's location, and force them to think on their feet. We 
we've created certain missions where we give you a high level objective okay. and a variety of ways to approach that objective. I like that. One Ooh, mission in particular no takes place in a vast too, desert yeah. in Iraq. You and your team are hunting down missile launchers with the SAS. It's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created. Look alive, people. They oh, I'm scared for this. There's about to be a lot of driving. Oh, God. What is he shooting at? You'll find that some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well. It's a lot of older We have maps. a mission that takes place in an That's opulent sure. casino in Southern Europe. It's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the player does in this- Bro, you gonna be a little bitch, Vapor? Wake your dumb ass up. You wanna sleep? What the fuck you want? Cookie? Bitch ass nigga, wake up, nigga. I hit the live button. That means it's time to fucking relax, sit back. You feel me? It's my time, bitch. Come here telling me you're going to sleep. I give a fuck about you going to sleep, Vapor. Wake the fuck up. We having fun right now. In Europe? It's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. Okay. What the player does in this space is totally unexpected. In another one of our missions, we have set in the harsh tundra of northern Russia. Oh, oh, rough better. We are excited to offer an array of brand new equipment, as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. RCX, I fucking hate this goddamn tranquilizer thing. trap, <laughs> what? adrenaline stem, homing knife. Disruptor. Oh, we're bringing it back. Okay. The campaign I'm is back, grounded back. within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. You might remember oh my God, we it's also like had that war. in Black it's like Ops Cold War. Thing. But this time, we wanted to think a little bit more broadly about the environment. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. So, it's in an abandoned manor by an ocean cliffside. Jesus Christ. Is it gonna look like the What's map? What's most like unique cliffside? is that it used to be a KGB black site, which was operational during the 50s and 60s. This brings a lot of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to oh, explore and, like a and discover secrets and everything. from the past. The oh, team is that. also bringing back the evidence board, which is still the centerpiece of the safe house experience, but with brand new upgrades. Players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze evidence collected throughout missions. I wonder how deep it's gonna really go. Cause a lot of times, like a lot of this stuff, it's not really like that useful to like progressing. You know what I'm saying? Like. I wonder if, like, you're going to actually have to do some stuff in this house or if it's kind of just going to, like, exist, you know? Okay. Catcher. Okay. Oh, the they went, they comes went in. real crazy oh, with this. Three, two, one, go. Is this all assassinations or is this, like, gameplay move mechanics as well? That was sick. Great. I think we got it. Oh, I'm with done. Black Ops 6, our goal is to create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across every single like, mode. What could Omni move with me? I'm just, what the? We've pushed ourselves at every corner to innovate and craft the most signature Black Ops experience for our Wait, players. What? Movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. And with Black Ops 6, we're redefining movement oh across the God. entire game. For the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction and move like a true Black Ops action hero with oh an entirely new global system we call Omni Movement. Oh, this is gonna be lit. Okay, this wait, unlocks wait, the ability wait, to move wait, like never before. Wait, now listen, we didn't got crazy movement before. Even when this game came out, when Modern Warfare dropped, you know what I'm saying? Are they gonna are they gonna keep this crazy? Or when everybody sucks and is super bad at the game and complaining because they don't have the time to put it in to actually be good? Are they going to slow everything down or are we about to like really ramp up Call of Duty? Because that's what this looks like. Like this looks like, bro, the move, the mechanics of this movement, the skill gap is going to be. Jason Love, OK, you know what I'm saying? And seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide, dive and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion. Oh, oh that's so hard. We started with, you can't do this thing, why? 
and then oh, realize Jason people line, actually bro. move that Google way. It. What happens if we get rid of that construct? And then instantly it opened up like, oh, if you can sprint in any direction, then you can dive in any direction, you can bro, slide in any direction, which then led to all the on the ground movement and everything else chaining together. Nah, people are gonna be sick with this, bro. It's really been something that changes how you think and play the game, whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies. We truly believe that once you experience Omni movement, there's no going back. Oh my god. I just wonder how it's gonna actually play out, because this looks insane. I'm not gonna lie. We also have what we're calling intelligent movement, which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. These can be enabled in player options, and they're broken down into three categories. Sprint assist, what? mantle assist, and crouch assist. And each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. Intelligent movement really started with this oh idea that we God. want all players to focus it's on like what they want to do and not how to do it. It's like it remembers what you're every player, regardless like what you're of skill doing. level or input or experience. Is that what with it's Call saying? Duty, it's gonna like to be remember able to what kind of inputs you're doing and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops Six. We okay, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Is, so is it is it like okay? Because they got like it's like Fortnite auto mantle, but they have auto in uh, ground mantle and all that in the game already. So. You could just turn it off and then still do that, but you still have to press more buttons. But in this game, it's saying that you don't have to press the buttons at all. It's just gonna like do it. Like if I just like run up to a wall, it's gonna like know that I wanna jump over it. That's how I, I don't know. That's how I got that. That's insane. But other genres like racing games where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really love the idea of taking that thinking and applying it to our own movement options. That's gonna I don't be think very this is a one size fits all thing. And I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. Fidelity. Hit zones are regions we on a character on that react game, when right? taking damage or dying. Um, in past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions. So we, now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their oh, left leg or right leg. Broken. And then you play a bespoke death animation oh depending on that location that they were hit. So broken. So world connectivity is this concept that players' movement and reactions are connected to, to the world out. based on their choices. A great example that really shines is a global feature we call corner slicing, where as you round a corner or go through a doorway, your weapon's gonna dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. And since it's dynamic, it'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room, oh. but it won't affect you at all if you're barreling full speed around that same corner. We are constantly okay. looking for opportunities okay. to set the bar with that movement and animations cool. in Black Ops 6. I wonder how it's gonna play out, big girls. Our, our team is super thrilled to show you the best looking characters that we've done. Through our process of photogrammetry, kind of gear was acquired, a the... scanned, and incorporated onto each of our operatives. Oh, wow. For our faces, a dynamic real-time analysis of spontaneous performances was captured and processed to make every emotional, impactful moment true to actual life. Holy. We made sure to have special attention to the cuticles and make sure that they don't look like they're just freshly cut. There's dirt in between their oh nails. Oh, my God. And look at the their palms as they're sweaty and running through situations that they're in. That's so cool. We're paying attention to every detail. Was that zombies? The thing that I'm most excited about is the number of new weapons from the era that we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. Ooh. Our heroes are rogue operators and we operate say brand outside new the normal show playbook. M16. That means they're procuring gear by any like means necessary. Eight, and that allowed 12? us to pull a unique mix of weapons. <laughs> We made sure to deliver dozens of unique attachments for every gun, and this allows the players to oh, create God. a weapon to match any playstyle that you can imagine, all while maintaining the feel and tone of the era. 
I would love to know like what other gun, Black like, Ops 6, there's so we many attachments really right now. What are people for using? Striking that balance between no way real all and hyper real, but used. we want to ground our effects in realism. We find real world reference so that we can match that motion, the weight, the timing, then riff off of that and create that hyper real look that everybody has come to know and love from Call of Duty. Can't wait. Once Call of Duty starts to like get that super real look, like the Black Ops 6 oh. user experience is all about focusing players on what they need when they need it, and our in-game HUD is no different. From the mini-map to the ammo widget oh, wow. to in-game notifications, oh. the Black Ops 6 HUD combines some of our best designs in a clean, streamlined experience. Oh, see, like this is what I'm talking about. That like. Look how it looks when he's walking like diagonally towards the window. Six HUD combines some of our best designs in a You see how like in real life, right? If I'm walking towards that window, my weapon would wouldn't just be here and like my body's going like this. You know what I'm saying? It would probably be either like tucked more this way or I'd be like moving it more left and right. Like it, it looks like stiff almost a little bit. So I'm wondering I'm wondering now, is that what, like, is it, I don't know, I don't know, is it going to look like that? Is it going to be like that? Also, why does it look like he has, like, a bar to fill up for movement, sprint speed, and region? It's like his perks are, like, half full. You see that? Are we bringing back pro perks? Is that what's happening? Clean, streamlined experience. For the first time in Call of Duty, players will be able to change their HUD in dramatic ways to suit their needs. For instance, you can streamers can choose the a layout right. optimized for their setup. Or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't have to look away. Yo! Want to play hardcore anywhere? Or finally put the mini-map in the bottom left? Those are options as well. Not only does Yo! the HUD give players important status. No, I didn't know you, you could actually move. Nah, no, that's fa, fa, fa. This it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being awesome. As players track that elusive challenge or target it, their next can, level unlock, you can set your own challenge and be like, oh, you know what? Cutting everything off this game, still be in the game with the homies. I mean, I guess you could have always cut like no HUD on, but at the same time, this is just gonna be different. It's gonna be tight. You could set cool little like videos of like playing with the mini map in the direct center or using something to block like using one of the hud things to block your view i don't know just weird things this is gonna youtubers are gonna get crazy with this i'm telling you black ops 6 delivers an end-to-end -end experience from the lobby into combat and back where player oh, progress and achievement Smith. are celebrated yes. in a big way is it just, oh thank god i thought they were gonna bring back pick 35 weapons again I mean, pick 35 so, attachments. Good. Happy, Lawrence, it. Progression. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than oh, ever. Please just be Looking free. back through the please Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love, to. both internally if at Treyarch no and what we see in our community million, for how we used back. to handle prestige. Oh my god, they're bringing it back. Oh my God, they're bringing it back. Traditional prestige is back in Call of Duty with Black Ops 6. We've pulled the best of the best from past oh. Call of Duty prestige systems oh. and are going bigger and more rewarding than ever. Players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter prestige, start fresh with relocked gear, and go through the leveling journey again. Black Ops 6 will have 10 prestiges, each with a valuable set of rewards to earn and equip to peacock your status. Players who make it through Prestige 10 aren't done. Instead, they'll graduate into Prestige Master with a thousand additional levels to climb through. A thousand? And a classified reward to uncover for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the oh, end. let's go, I'm with it. The full Prestige system is available on day one in on Black one? Ops 6. Multiplayer. We know how many of our players look forward to multiplayer, and we will be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. For now, okay. here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Our vision since be day one has been to craft an Ooh. approachable and engaging Mohawk step change oh, of that signature bold. Black like Ops that. multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win. 
are focused on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. You get all of our weapons, gear, and gadgets in multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that through lens walls. of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode, which we're happy to announce is returning oh, with Black yes. Ops 6. <laughs> now I said we're only getting a taste of MP today. Montages are back. Montages are back, baby. Yes! But of course that means you're gonna get some early details on maps. Oh my god, call me Faze We're Joseph, happy to announce baby. that we will be launching with 16 all new MP maps. We've got 12 core 6v6 and 4 strike maps, which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. Uh, what do okay. players like? What do we know that Talk they like? So we're back to our classic three lane maps. Uh -huh. We've got fast, frenetic experiences, and we have that balance with more medium hey, size, Chad, like better mean? for hardcore pacing to keep the action flowing and still have meaningful Help decisions me for the player to make. All right. The maps have their own stories, and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. Oh, so they're gonna have, they're probably gonna have early access multi, I mean, campaign. We've covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. It better be zombies. Please don't forget about it. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. Round Base oh Zombies is back. My God. We're picking up the Dark like Aether storyline when we left it. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available at launch with a curated two. mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. Two For those new to Zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies, and tons of secrets to uncover. The legacy of Zombies is incredibly oh important God. to Treyarch, and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, the innovations and movement systems will also be coming to Zombies. Plus, there are many additional Zombie-specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly yes. epic return yes. for round-based Zombies. Be on the lookout for more intel coming later this year. Steph interviewed AB, Mark. <sighs> Now we know we only gave you My a little taste wet. of multiplayer here today, so make sure to mark your calendars for our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty Next on August 28th. Make sure to stay tuned for details and watch your favorite streamers get hands-on Black Ops 6 so you can be prepped and ready to jump into our MP beta and feel omni-movement for yourself. We'll be sharing so much more about Black Ops 6 in the coming months and look forward to seeing your reactions and your feedback from our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. And it's not You ever be feeling like it's almost like like some of my favorite streamers, bro, are like, I be feeling like these niggas, like we locked in, twin. You know what I'm saying? We locked in, twin. And they let you play Black Ops 6 and you ain't you ain't even secretly telling it. And this whole time I've been speculating, you ain't even, you ain't even like almost let me know a little bit. That's crazy. Oh my God. I'm never getting invited to shit. Oh my God. Uh. <laughs> Just about launch because the team is already focused on delivering a ton of content in the live seasons, which we'll be sharing more about. Oh my God. Am I did he allowed just shoot to talk over about the homie? Warzone? Or did he yeah. use? <gasps> no. Oh, please. Our goal on Black Ops 6 was, and still is, to make something that is the best work we've ever done, and frankly, the most fun to play. To do that, we deconstructed all of our gameplay, our systems, and content plans, and repeatedly asked how oh something could God, be better. Oh my God, how fast he hit that corner. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations like Omnimovement, where we're now allowing players to move how real people and operators move. In other cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems like Prestige, then taking that classic system through the ringer and making updates and improvements. Across our weapons, gear, operators, maps, and more, a huge push has been to hit the highest visual and audio fidelity possible. The campaign tells an all new Black Ops story where you're forced to go rogue and are being hunted by the teams that trained you. On top yeah. of that, the team is really focused on mission and engagement variety. Really? 
Multiplayer is a key ingredient in the DNA of Black Ops, and hopefully, in this sneak peek, it was clear that every single part of the MP game loop will be improved and better I than mean, ever. It looks like a From movement I'm to shooting to footsteps to engagement systems to death. And last, but definitely not least, the triumphant return of round-based zombies. There is so much more to share across all three game modes before the game officially launches on October 25th. Let's go, dude! On behalf of the entire team, we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Oh my god, you got me sold. I am locked in, brother. I am locked in. I cannot wait for this to come out. What is this up here? I don't know what that is. There's no way we get Black Ops 6 before GTA 6. God, I hope so, brother. And I hope they actually drop like a real, oh my God. I hope they just drop a finished game, bro. Please drop a finished game. Please tell me they've really been working this whole time, bro. Please tell me.